Nigeria is one of the largest consumers of plastic in Africa, generating over 17.5 million tons of plastic waste annually. But this has led to the disposal of waste in open landfills next to residential areas, causing soil contamination, blocked drainage networks, high carbon emissions, and increased spread of pathogens. There are currently no efficient systems for waste management in Nigeria or advanced technology applications to mitigate this. Hello, I'm Yemi Ajibade, and I'm the marketing associate at Jivo Africa. What we do at Jivo is that we leverage on technology in collection, in the processing, and making of things out of recyclables. Jivo is tackling this problem by establishing modular recycling centers, known as Jivo centers, within communities across Nigeria. Each Jivo center is community-based, youth and women-led, and created to aggregate and process recyclables into useful products. Collected directly from waste generators, that is households, each Jivo center collects up to 90 metric tons of recyclables every year, diverting these materials from landfills. Our technology is one aspect of what we do at Jivo Center. The other aspect is having the community residents involved and interested in what we do. A key innovative component of our solution is the application of advanced IoT technology to digitize our collection process, track recyclables collected and processed, optimize our operations, and generate data on high waste consumption patterns within communities. Hi, my name is Victor. I'm the co-founder of Jivo. Uh, over here behind me is one of our two Jivo centers in existence, with three more opening up at the end of Q1 2022. Each of the Jivo centers employs at least 10 staff, uh, between 10 and 15 staff in each community. We're able to collect 300 kilograms a day, which translates to about 7 metric tons a month and 90 metric tons per year through each of these centers. Starting from Coca-Cola, who brought us into this industry through the Epic Innovation Challenge, through to the Dutch government, through their Orange Corners program, where we received um, grant funding to do our pilot study in conjunction with Loma, through to uh, Moe Hennessy, who um, again joined with us in the piloting of the plastic sheets that we use for construction. And it all starts from here, the community center, where um, it is led by women and youth. Our staff our team members go out from here to the members of the community educate them about why to recycle and how to recycle see uh, we rely on solar in this solution so everything is green um, there is no negative carbon footprint in our solution and that is very important to us my name is dr jeff brighty i am managing director of sustainability consultancy environmental sustainability associates and we specialize in plastics and waste management. I am co-lead of a consortium involving the University of Warwick, De Montfort University, Chatham House and Sustainability SME Zero Waste Goods and together this consortium is aiming to create a pilot program of GIVO centres in Lagos and through research on the operation of those centres develop a business plan for scale across Lagos and elsewhere in sub-Saharan Africa. Furthermore, the data that we collect is able to um, help with carbon credits and able to um, provide information on the brands that are being used by the customers in the area. So in essence, we're able to, in real time, um, give you information about uh, brand positioning and brand behaviors of, of customers in particular areas through the data we collect. So this is a really integral part of what we do here at Jivo and we want to scale this across Nigeria and of course across Africa.